Hey, 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 all. Welcome to another Money Today. This financial reset is moving along very quickly. Crypto is very hot right now. We're seeing a lot of movement. Uh, gold, a lot of the things that we thought were going to happen about last year are starting to happen quickly now. Uh, so I'm going to play you a couple of clips because the whole banking part, where the banks connect to crypto is the part that's moving along the quickest right now and something we need to pay attention to. You know, looking at all of us, it makes a lot more sense that this was all planned way, way in advance. Just look at the connections to what we're going to see, Bank of New York Mellon, and then on the other side, we're going to look at Sequoia. Uh, two huge, huge players and how they have influenced this space. Here, listen to this, and we'll get back on the other side. From the World Economic Forum's website, the headline reads, The Great Reset Requires Fintechs, and Fintechs Require a Common Approach to Cyber Security. Fintech providers are key to the structural enhancement of financial services during the Great Reset. They're basically telling you there's a financial reset coming. Wake up. Here, guys, it states fintech innovators deliver tremendous economic and social benefits, connecting unbanked and underbanked populations to the digital economy, contributing to small business growth and empowering consumers in new and exciting ways. You saw that narrative being built by the World Economic Forum about the Great Reset. I have to remind you yet again about this groundbreaking news that broke from the OCC about banks being able to provide custody for crypto. This is Antoinette O'Gorman, the head of compliance at PolySign. PolySign, as we know, is an institution, a company with three Ripple executives on it, specializing in custodianship. Funds they want to have a qualified custodian to protect and safeguard their assets. Central banks wishing to issue their own digital currency will have to give serious consideration to custody solutions. What, how are they going to maintain uh, and safeguard those funds from attack? Um, you need a sophisticated multi-sig ceremony, and when I say a ceremony, I really do mean it is a ceremony amongst many, many people um, with a, a very sophisticated key generation mechanism. It's not a trivial matter. And possibly maybe using something kind of escrow solution that Ripple, similar to the one Ripple announced in late 2017. Tim Keeney, the vice chairman of PolySign, is a retired vice chairman of Bank of New York Mellon. Head of Asset Processing and Global Markets and led an organization of 25,000 people responsible for custodying 25% of institutional assets across the planet. The CEO Jack McDonald has been inducted to the Global Custodians Legends of the Industry. And finally, we see from the institutionalinvestor.com that the world's largest custodian is Bank of New York Mellon. For the eighth year in a row. Because Bank of New York Mellon is in fact a Ripple partner. Visa to offer Bitcoin, Ethereum and Ripple payments. Payment provider Visa has announced plans to incorporate cryptos such as Bitcoin into its payment network. And on another article, Visa and MasterCard support digital currencies or cryptocurrencies for digital payments. Visa and MasterCard have issued individual statements in support of crypto in the financial services industry. In its blog post titled, Advancing Our Approach to Digital Currency, Visa said it believes digital currencies have the potential to improve the value of digital payments. The company added, as such, we want to help shape and support the role they play in the future of money. And to quote once more, we look forward to sharing more with you on this work in the months that follow. The payments giant is currently working with crypto firms like Coinbase and has investments in digital asset custody business, Anchorage. And now there's a couple of links to put here on Anchorage. You can really uh, pull that forward with exactly how that's rolling out. But the big part about this is uh, here down below as well. According to LiveMint, both Visa and MasterCard have registered patents in the blockchain tech. MasterCard has 80 patents, while Visa has 24. And really, what I'm what I'm thinking about here 
is just how quickly they will roll in. I mean, the announcement is now out, we know about it, but how quickly will they roll in? How quickly will they do some things? That for me is still a little bit crazy to, to grasp. But the fact that they are rolling in is also showing once more that um, everything is coming along. And also another piece of info, as a result, or no, actually from here, one of the relevant obstacles in Visa's roadmap is the position of politicians, regulators, and other government entities. The payment company said it has been working with regulated entities, including Coinbase and Fold, to create a bridge between digital currencies and its payment network. As a result, 25 crypto wallets are linked to their services offered by Visa, and this way, users of these services can use their funds in crypto to spend them with Visa cards or prepaid credential, according to Creo, uh, Crypto News flash.com okay now that you've seen those clips you saw poly you saw poly sign all right poly sign definitely ripple and bank of new york mellon some other big players right the whole right side of this map world economic forum that whole side imf uh, IMF, uh ibm hyperledger fabric all tied together. We get up here to PolySign, Polkadot, and the Linux Foundation, right? Which is global. This is not the United States. So whenever you hear anybody from this right-hand side, especially, talk about they're working for the U.S. digital dollar, they are not. This is a global digital dollar. Unless Alibaba, Huawei, <laughs> Red Hat, Tencent are all working towards the U.S. digital dollar. I, I don't see it. Uh, maybe for their own reasons. But then we can look at the other side with Sequoia and Polychain Capital. Now, that's not PolySign. For some reason, I can't see a connection, even though they're so close. But Polychain Capital, which is uh, Coinbase with Andreessen Horowitz, right? But also Anchorage. Now, we got Anchorage uh, is connected to Visa, but Visa is also connected with IBM, been partners for 50 years. But Visa is directly connected to Anchorage, which is directly connected to Coinbase and Andreessen Horowitz. Anchorage is just like PolySign. It's just like the same thing. It's like a mirror, right? We've got uh, asset holding uh, for cryptocurrency on both sides. That may seem a little confusing, but if you look into Anchorage, it's pretty much the same thing. Now, I showed you uh, Polychain Capital. If you look at Polychain Capital, you're going to see most of the same coins that you would on Coinbase, right? 0x, here's Anchorage right here. Uh, Compound, MakerDAO, Orchid, right? So most all of it, and Web3 Foundation, which if you look on the other side of the coin, you're going to see Web3 Foundation, Gavin Wood, connected to the Confidential Computer, Computing Consortium, Linux Foundation. So there are some connections. There, these two sides are mostly separated, but we will find connections. So we have Anchorage on one side, and Sequoia. I, I promised I would talk about that. Sequoia. Since 1972, we've partnered early and at every stage of growth with the founders of companies that now have an aggregate public market value, value over $3.3 trillion. Meet the companies below. All right, you're going to recognize a lot of these companies, right? But we can get down here to Polychain Capital. So as I said before, you've got you know people like Bank of New York Mellon on one side. You've got Sequoia covering the other. It's uh, looking like this has been very well coordinated and it's all coming together very quickly. Um, I hope you learned something. If you did, you know, subscribe and leave a comment. Just let me know what you think about it and where we can go from here. What, it, what is your interest in this? All right. Love you all.